first time I've been here, and I like it every time. Good. Uh, kind of Do we have you, would you give us your address for the record? Certainly please? will. I live in Lyons County, Georgia. If you go up 75, it's the first one you hit. And uh, the address of the organization is P.O. Box 88, Hay Hira, Georgia, which you probably only know from a Ray Stevens song if you go that far back. And um, I am actually aware that your Withacoochee River, which I like a lot, is not the same as my Withacoochee River that runs into the Swatee. However, we have members, uh, some right here in the room, who have requested me to look into the leak at the Sable Trail Pipeline at the site of the compressor station. So that's what I've been down here doing today, which is also why I'm wearing this raggedy attire. This is for hiking down in the woods at the Kapadatanskinaki Preserve. And um, regarding that leak, um, maybe you're already aware of all this, so if so, just stop me. Apparently, it started on Sunday, July the 16th. And we know this because multiple people reported passing by and smelling the smell of natural gas, which of course is not actually the smell of natural gas, it's dead. And um, uh, one thing I'd like to know is, was the city of Dunellen notified? Because nobody else seems to have been. And Sable Trail is required to file a bi-weekly report uh, in their latest report, which was filed on July 14th, there's nothing about any work anywhere near that location. There's been no announcement from FERC, the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, from the Florida Department of Environmental Protection, no, no, nothing. And um, I did manage to hear from, I believe it was the uh, fire department at the county here, that they said yes, there was a leak, which Basically, anybody could smell going by. Uh, speaking of that uh, smell, uh, there's a rumor that the city of Dunellen asked for the odor to be put in. Um, so I'm wondering if there's any truth to that. What? From the looks on your faces, I would gather that you did. Um, and I'm also wondering, is that gas actually going to the Citrus County line down to the Crystal River natural gas plant? That even seems unclear. And in case you're wondering, I am going to ask all these questions of for and the Corps and FDEP, and I'll send a copy to the city and to Marion County. And maybe some of these agencies that permitted this pipeline can answer some of these questions. Maybe you'd like to know some of these answers as well. Mm -hmm. um, yes, today, we while down in Halpata Tastanaki, we got to see a fairly close look at the uh, site of the compressor station. I keep saying the site of it because they haven't actually built the compressor station yet. And we can see some interesting things. Uh, you'll see some of <coughs> this in what I filed tomorrow. Um, there's a number of obvious wetlands of standing water. It's pretty obvious. It's what looks like a retention pond. There's a yellow boom, which is holding what? So that's quite interesting. Uh, so that's basically what I came to mention to you. And, and I, I really hate to uh, speak and run, but I've got a three hour drive back. And um, I'd really like to thank you for listening. Thank you, Mr. Corning. Thank you. You're welcome. That concludes uh, everyone who signed up.